Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Then when you're ready, we'll solve it together. Okay, let's start by reading the question. In the function, function f of x equals x minus 2 squared plus 4, the minimum value occurs when x is, which of the following? So, I mean, there's three approaches you might take in solving this problem. Uh, before we even get to that, let's talk about what this problem is even asking. Notice it's asking for this minimum, right? So what is that talking about? Well, notice that this function is squared right here. The exponent is 2. So if we're going to graph this thing, right, just a rough sketch of what these, generally, what these shapes generally look like. Right, this is our y-axis, and this is our x-axis, right? If we have a graph of this, this is called a parabola. Um, the parabola is either going to be essentially what looks like a, a big frown, like this, in which case some point of the frown would be the maximum. Here, this is the max, right? Or if it's a smiley face, we'll use green for smiles. If it's a smiley face parabola, somewhere there'll be a point that's a minimum, and they want to know what this point is, right? Where is it? Specifically, they want to know the x value of that point, right? Um, and just a little bit of context, both of these things, right, they're referred to as the vertex of the parabola. So a vertex can be a maximum, or the vertex can be a minimum, right? So here, um, three strategies. One, you can plug all of these values in for x into your function, right? f of x is simply a function based on x. So for example, you can plug in f of negative 2. That means the function based on the input, negative 2. And you get negative 2 minus 2 squared plus 4. And what does that equal? Well, that's 0, uh, excuse me, negative 4 squared, which is 16, plus 4, which is 20. That means there's a point when x is negative 2, the y value is 20, and that's one point. You can go through all four examples and find the one with the lowest height. In other words, the one with the, uh, the one that's the minimum, right? So like the question there would be, is this the minimum? I don't want to solve it that way, though. It's, it's a little bit tedious. Um, perhaps the most, um, I guess, content-savvy approach to this is to recognize that this function is written in what's called vertex form. Vertex form is generally a number a times x minus h squared plus k. This is the general structure of uh, vertex form for a function x. Right? What do these numbers refer to? Well, a refers to the steepness right, uh, or oh, the curvature, I should say, of the parabola, I think I'm saying that right, essentially the higher A is, the faster this thing will grow, and H and K literally refer to the vertex. So for example, if I, if I have X minus, well, let's use our example, we have X minus 2, and we have then plus 4, the vertex is the point HK. So what would our vertex be here? Well, it would be the point 2, 4. It's not negative 2, right, because we're subtracting h, which so is minus 2, so it's minus h, and h is the x point. Uh, if you saw x plus 2, then h would be what? Well, in order for this to be a positive, that means you would have to have subtracted a negative to begin with, x minus negative 2, and these two would be equal. So in that case, h would be negative. Essentially, if you see a, pos uh, a plus here in front of the h value, that means the first... Uh, value in the point is actually negative. It's the opposite, essentially. So that tells us that the minimum here is the point 2, 4, where x is 2. Other ways of solving it. Let's bring the graphing calculator into the mix. So I press the y equals button to enter my equation. Move this over. Parentheses, right? Here's the x button. Minus 2, close parentheses, squared. I use the caret here for squaring. Press right, and then plus 4. And now, I want to graph this thing. And my graph is way off, so I'm going to hit the zoom button, and I want to fit the zoom. I think it's zero, but let me scroll down. There's all different ways to zoom in on the graph. I wish the thing would fit it automatically. That would be nice. Where is it? Oh, I spec asked it. Zero zoom fit. Press zero. And there's a decent representation of our parabola. And if you don't like that, you could do zoom standard. But once you have this, if you hit second calc, the graphing calculator can tell you what the minimum is. Choice three, minimum. So here, uh, it's asking me for the left bound. Let me show you a sketch of what it's asking. So I'm going to hide the graphing calculator for a second. Essentially, what it's asking is, on the parabola, it's asking for a point to the left of your minimum. Right? It's called the left bound. 
and then it's going to ask for a point to the right bound. And then it's going to ask, okay, based on those two inputs, let's guess the minimum. Now, the more symmetrical your choice is, the better the estimate. So if your right point is like way up here, right, instead of closer to the minimum as it should be, it will be less accurate. So you get these weird decimals, but essentially you're going to learn to ignore those weird decimals uh, to look at the answer. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to pick a point to the left. It's hard to see here, but there's a little cursor there. Enter. Now I pick a point to the right. And I'm going to make it non-symmetrical, my choice. I'm going to try to. So see, I keep hitting it. There's the cursor. I'll go up further. And okay, let's go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to ask me to guess because it's going to approximate it. And see, I get this number 1.9999999988. That's the value of x and y is 4. Typically, with these problems, you can assume and round to the nearest whole number or, or integer, in this case, 2. All right, so that's two ways, three ways of solving it, and there are many more. I hope this helped.